James Prigioni coming to you live from Jersey. It's October 16th. Just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I'm still here. The garden's still doing well. Everything that I planted uh, for fall is doing real well now. Some of the beans got eaten by a groundhog. Besides that, the peas are getting bigger and stuff. The carrots and everything. Cherry tomatoes have gone crazy. You can barely even see the peach tree that's in there. Yeah, this this whole uh, food forest is really it's modeled after what a forest does. In a forest, you have uh, starts off usually just maybe in something like a field, then you have all the weeds that'll grow up. The annual succession of weeds come and go, and that fertilizes the ground and protects a lot of the trees when they're smaller as they're first coming up. So instead of using weeds to protect the trees, we use annuals that we get harvest from. The food that we eat, use for other things, flowers to bring in pollinators and all things like that. And then as the uh, trees start to get bigger, they begin to shade out the weeds. So in time, all these annuals will really be shaded out by the bigger fruit trees. And soon, at the end, it'll all just be basically fruit trees with hopefully some, some perennials as a ground cover some flowers and stuff like that, also strawberries and raspberries. So it's really modeled after a, uh, a natural forest, the, the succession towards a natural forest. But instead of using local weeds to fertilize the ground and protect the trees, we use annuals, things that we like to eat. So this way we're using the space as we wait for the fruit trees to really start producing. Cherry trees started already going to dormancy, it's getting too late for it. Besides that, everything is really doing well. We're still getting food. I'm out here right now harvesting salad. This is the or lettuce. I meant this is the pat one another one of the patches that we planted for fall. Plenty of cilantro and lettuce, and there's even some tomatoes that just came up that I didn't plant. But next year, there's just going to be so many things that are going to come up just naturally on their own because we've let a lot of stuff just die off on its own so that next year we get a harvest without planting anything just self-seeding annuals little baby pumpkin in there There's plenty of pumpkins and stuff I'm not planting any pumpkins this year next year I didn't plant any last year but I guess I left too many that just wintered over and the seeds grew up again on their own so I don't want that to happen because I got a bunch of zucchini that crossed with pumpkins so I didn't really get any good zucchini seed this year because it had all been crossed with pumpkins. So I'll just pull out these pumpkins, the ones that I have, and give them away to my niece or something. Maybe make pumpkin pie, but probably not. But everything is done well, guys. We're still getting watermelon. I still got two watermelon inside we have to eat. Getting lettuce and still got tomatoes, too. Tomatoes haven't been producing as much as they were, but still getting some here and there, especially the cherry ones. So I just really wanted to fill you guys in, let you know I'm still here. Haven't been doing that much videos lately. Haven't felt uh, like I wanted to share anything too much. But you know, the desire comes and goes. So thanks for tuning in guys, thanks for all the support, for the comments. Thanks to all the new subscribers, I promise. As the year goes on and stuff, I'll really start putting out better content, but better content, well thought out. Because I'm uh, big about designing and thinking about something before you really jump into it. So I know at times this garden might look like a bit of a mishmash all thrown together, but it is designed with purpose. Here's a nice watermelon right here, actually. Take this one inside as well. Looks like a sugar daddy. Might be overripened, but we'll see. I'll crack into it, see how it goes. More tomatoes over there, and the Cosmos are just taking over. They've done real well. So, I'll give you a little shot of those up close and call it a day. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching and following along. James Prigioni's out.